What up everybody, my name is Art is War, and typically I do Warzone tip videos, and this is a Warzone tip video, but this is a Warzone tip video for those people that own a 6900 XT and can't get the damn thing to stop stuttering. I think I've got to the bottom of it. There's new drivers that came out yesterday that I haven't tested, but this is based on an older set of drivers and I think it should help you. If it does help you, like the video, subscribe, click the bell, so you know when I upload another video, whether it be a tech tip about Warzone or a playing tip about Warzone, uh, you'll be the first to know. Without any further ado, we'll get right into it. There's a couple things that you'll need to do this correctly. You'll need the 22.3.1 drivers. As I mentioned, the drivers released yesterday are newer, but I haven't tested those, so I'm just going to tell you what worked for me. There's a lot of steps in this that I'm not sure are necessary, but I'm just going to share what gave me smooth performance and hope that it helps you guys as well. Um, you'll need the 22.3.1 drivers. You'll need Radeon Software Slimmer, GPU Z, More Power Tool, MSI Afterburner, and DDU for good measure. All of those are going to be linked down in the description below. The first thing that you're going to want to do is hop in and DDU your system. If you're not familiar, it's very typical to do this between uh, installs of graphics cards, especially when you're changing brands, going from green to red, what have you. You'll want to reboot in safe mode before running DDU. It's going to prompt me to do that. I'm not going to do that for this video. You'll open it. You'll select your GPU. You'll click clean and restart. And what this will do is this will scrub your machine of any current install of drivers that's in existence on it. Uh, once that's done, you'll restart, as I said, and you'll want to not run the installer. You'll want to open Radeon Software Slimmer. It'll need a couple net framework environments to run. It should prompt you to install those. Do that. Run the software. It's big and bright. You can click dark mode. You'll want to go pre-install. And what you're going to do here is you're going to browse to the drivers that you've installed. So here you can see I have the AMD software Adrenaline Edition 22.3.1. You'll want to open this and click next. It's going to ask you to pick a place to extract the files because what we're going to do is we're only going to install parts of the AMD software. You'll click next. It should create a folder adjacent to the installer. It, you'll let it do its thing and it'll prompt you here in a moment. The thing that you'll want to see here is we're going to uncheck Ryzen Master SDK here. And what one of the supposed fixes in this conglomerate of fixes is, is removing the AMD driver's ability to communicate to your overclock on your CPU. So we'll uncheck Ryzen Master SDK and we'll click Run Installer. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. You'll allow the AMD installer to do its thing and you'll probably have to restart. Once you've restarted, we'll go on to the next step. And the next step for us will be running GPU-Z. So GPU-Z from Tech Power Up is just a utility that analyzes your graphics card. All we're interested in is this share button located underneath the AMD icon. You'll click that, you'll click save to file. Give it a second. And you'll save it as I did here to your documents folder. And it'll be called navi space 21.rom. Click save, it'll do its thing. And we'll move right over to more power tool. You'll open more power tool, you'll click load. You'll load this file in as I've already done. And it should populate like this. And what we're first interested in is the PP table. Haha, <laughs> funny. You'll click Feature Control, and you'll uncheck all of these options here. By default, these should all be checked. DS underscore, and there are about seven options here that you'll uncheck. Um, these are sleep states on the card, as I understand it. And like I said, I don't know if all these steps are needed, but this is what I've done to reduce and almost entirely remove stuttering on the, on the system. You'll uncheck all of these DS options, and you'll check temp underscore dependent underscore vmin. And then you'll click OK. The only other thing that we're going to change is power, and this is dependent upon the cards that you have. I have a Merc 319 Swift card. For me, I can increase the power limit to 360 from 255. And then the limit here under TDC limits A for GFX is going to be 15% over three, the, the number here. For me, 360, so 420. So if you get 300, it will be whatever that math's out to be. I'm bad at math. Um, 
And those are the only two things that you're going to change. You're going to then click Write SPPT here at the bottom. It should say Saved Successfully, at which point you can close this. You'll want to restart the PC. Once you've restarted and you want to make sure that those settings took effect, you could open more power tools again, select your GPU from the drop down menu, click Feature Control, and ensure that those are checked off and this is, and temperature dependent VMIN is checked on. And you can check your power limits as well. And those should all still be the same if it worked. Once you're done with that, seems like a lot of steps, but this is everything that I did. You'll want to open MSI Afterburner. Now, you're not going to want to run this every time, so you'll click the gear icon here for settings, and you'll want to uncheck Start with Windows and Start Minimized. The only thing that we're going to do here is we're going to enable, we're going to enable this setting here under AMD Compatibility Properties. We're going to check... Disable ULPS. It's gonna, you're going to hit apply, and it's going to prompt you to restart. So you're going to restart again. MSI Afterburner is done. The final step is using the stock AMD software here. And I've already done it, but I'll walk you through the steps. The first thing you're going to want to do is click under automatic tuning. You're going to run the undervolt and the overclock commands for GPU. What's that? What that's going to do is run the software utility, trial your card, and tell you what's safe but high. Right? It's going to give you an undervolt value in millivolts. You'll write that down. It'll give you an overclock value in megahertz. You're going to write that down. You're not going to overclock your VRAM. Overclocking the VRAM in this utility leads to black screen crashes in Warzone. So we're going to leave VRAM alone for the most part. Once you have those numbers done and written down, you're going to forget about all that, and you're going to click manual tuning on the far, right, far right side. <clears throat> this is going to enable us to enter those values and also have a little bit more control. So you're first you're to enable GPU tuning by toggling this, and you're going to enable advanced controls. The first slider we're interested in is the max frequency slider. That is going to receive the number that you were given when you ran the overclock GPU utility, which should be in megahertz. So 2594 was my number. That's what I'm going to put in there. Then for the minimum frequency, you're going to take the number you received and subtract 200 from it in my case 2394 enter that number and then the voltage that you received in the undervolt utility you're going to input here so that panel is done we are going to go to vram tuning next you're going to enable this we are not going to touch the frequency or enable advanced controls here we're not interested in that the only thing we're going to do is change memory timing from default to fast you're going to probably want to enable smart access memory or resizable bar. That's going to be a thing in your BIOS, typically under PCIe settings. Um, for me, it's enabled. It just enables uh, larger chunks of data be to be traded between the GPU and CPU. I set an aggressive fan curve here by enabling fan tooting, enabling advanced control, disabling zero RPM, and setting the curve here as such. Uh, and then the final thing you'll want to do is enable power tuning and increase that limit all the way up to 15% and you'll hit apply. You'll want to take a screenshot, maybe remember these settings because this software has a knack of resetting itself often. My video scale memory is 0 0.9. My render work count is 11. Um, I'm getting about, I get about 170 to 260 frames depending where I am in Caldera. I get small stutters when I step into a new area and it's loading a POI or something. But for the most part, my frames are stable once I'm there. They're smooth. I'm not getting any of the hitching or stuttering, specifically in, in engagements that I was getting before. And my experience was has gotten a lot better. I hope this video helped you. If you found it helpful, like the video. Click subscribe. Click the bell. I'll, it'll let you know when I upload a new video, whether it be a tech tip for Warzone or a play tip for Warzone. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If it helped you, let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.